Hey guys, this is Dr. Missy with The Compass. Uh, welcome to Ezekiel's Wheel. Um, I just want to jump on here and kind of go over, I think, what God has been putting in my heart today. And I'm sorry, it's like almost 10 o'clock at night, but it's been one of those kind of days. Had an emergency today, and so I had to take care of that and take care of some people and help people get situated. So here I am. Here I am. Um, I hope this finds you well. Happy Wednesday. We made it through to hump day. Uh, and so I'm just going to jump in. And I'll tell you what I think God is telling me right now as to where we're at as a body and where we're at as a nation. Um, it's like, I want to repeat what Dr. Pierce said really quickly. It is a time of war. That's the one statement that he said. And God brought that back to remembrance about two days ago because someone on my team uh, had mentioned that it feels like we've been going through a contraction point two all year. And I thought, you know, that's really, really true. Um, but we're still in contraction point one. For 2021 so as god has entered us into the second month of contraction point one our focus should really be on trying to get as free as we can from all the negative characteristics of our bloodlines and of all the 12, 12 tribes of israel which will prepare us for contraction point two the freer you get in contraction point one the easier contraction point two is and you think it's hard right now i can only imagine what contraction point two is going to feel like if we're still in war, which I'm sure we will be. So that's the one thing we really need to focus on right now. If you want to have an easier time during C2, make sure you're focused on getting as much deliverance as you can now. I mean, focusing on asking him constantly, you know, Lord, what do you want to free me today? Every time you get before him, pray about that. If you have an opportunity to meet with deliverance ministers, try to get as free as you can. I mean, focus on that. That'll ease your time. And ease the, the pressure as we go through into April, June, and July. So the only problem that a lot of is that we're I'm seeing the body struggle with too right now is that a lot of people are struggling with lack of motivation and they're just not caring because everybody's so tired of it all. We're tired of warring, we're tired of always fighting, we're just tired of it all. And it's like, can we can we ever just cut a break? Just give us give us a break, God. And so God's like if you'll just Finish this that I've given you to do. If you'll just stay the course and stay on task, I'll get you through and into the new. That's what he's saying to us right now. And the disconnectedness with, with the confusion, the disinterest. The Lord's saying, if you'll know you're normal, and if you'll try to focus on what it felt like when things felt normal, when you had good days, the Lord says, that's what's going to help you to press out of the flesh and back into the things of the Spirit. Okay, so that's one aspect of what I see the, the Lord doing right now or the Lord trying to get us to move beyond right now. The second part is, is what the enemy is trying to attack as far as using old weapons against us as he has in past seasons. We're having to make sure we're casting down uh, different things and be attentive to the ways that we were attacked in past seasons. And so staying on top of that is a big uh, hurdle right now. I think we're all going through. And so when I say no, no, you're normal. What I'm talking about is making yourself focus on what you felt like when you felt more peaceful. Okay. And my actual, my hope for each one of you is this, is that if you find yourself in a place of peace, that's excellent. That's absolutely excellent. That means you're aligned with God, which is a very, very good thing, which means you're continually staying with the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, which means that you're moving right on through. So that's a good sign for ho hopefully everybody's experiencing right now. But please remember as you go through your cities, also that people are highly stressed out and they're looking for an outlet. Don't let that be you. You're nobody's garbage can, but don't let them use you or try to get you triggered to where you come out of love because that's exactly what you, they want you to do. The enemy wants you to be just like him, not like God. And so I had somebody actually do that to me today. And I'd gone into a place of business, and the calmer I stayed, the angrier they got. And they were really looking for a fight until the line of the tribe of Judah rose up on me, and I set some really strong boundaries. And so we have to remember that God, you know, hasn't called us to be a wuss, but He has called us to use our brain and choose our battles. And sometimes love will rise up on you on your vessel with the righteous indignation of God, but it still causes us to stay in love. Okay, so. Um, and believe it or not, it was all over. It was over about not wearing a stupid mask. It was unbelievable because I haven't worn one since COVID began. So it's retarded. It's totally crazy. So many are completely um, on overload with misinformation uh, and completely missing what's going on at present. What's God doing right now? Um, I feel like God has the United States in a place where we've never been before. We've never had a coup happen in our government. Not that I know of. 
maybe before I was born, but not that I can ever remember in history. And so, pardon me, <clears throat> God is calling us to do what he's telling us to do in this hour, despite what we think or what we see or even understand. He's telling us to stay the course. Don't go by what you see with your eyes because your eyes will fail you. So stay the course, stay on task, go by what the prophets are saying, not by what man's saying. Okay, so because what's going on actually around us right now is God is rearranging the heavenlies. What do I mean by that? He's reordering our times, dimension, realms, and seasons of the Spirit to where they're all coming into alignment with His glory on earth as it is in heaven. So this is what all the war is about on earth as it is in heaven. Because when heaven aligns, when our times, dimension, realms, and seasons of the Spirit align, that means God is drawing very, 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 very close and heaven's about to come to earth. The hello, it's already started. And so that also means we must align, which means we must get free if we're ever to experience all that God wants us to experience. And so we're moving into the latter glory. For those of you who were born like from 1960 to 1970, you are actually a gatekeeper, a bridge builder from the former glory into the latter glory. You're the connection piece. You're the Josephs, the front runners who are making way by through Christ, through Christ where there is no way for others to come on across and into out of the old and into the new. So God makes a way where there is no way. That's what he's doing for us in this hour. And so I just want to encourage you tonight. Stay the course. Uh, don't lose heart. God is doing what he said he would do. America will be readjusted back to the way it was, but better and newer and better than it ever was before. I believe the prophets and what they're telling us right now. So they haven't missed it. We haven't missed it. They've doubled down. And I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that too, man. I'm really, really grateful. And so, you know, I trust God. I have faith in God. I, I believe that God's a good God. And so I believe he's going to finish what he started just like he promised us that he would. So anyhow, have a great night. I'll see you Friday in the 15-minute rev. Bye-bye.